Hi, my name is Doug McMillan, Director of Marketing for Tegra and NVIDIA. I'm going to show you a little bit of our comp uh, Chimera computational photography architecture and some of the applications that are built on top of it. Excellent. So what we have here is a is an HDR, a high dynamic range scene set up to, to uh, mimic a real world situation where you've got some a bright lit scene in the back and uh, and, then, and then something else, a, a lesser lit scene in the foreground. So you know when you take pictures today, when the first thing you tell all your friends is they have to look into the sun because if the camera looks into the sun, then that you get this they're, 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 it's all blown out right. They're in the shadows. You can't see anything. You can't see anything. What you yeah. get is this. You get yes. a, a scene where you're either your friends are in focus and the, and the background's blown out. Yes. Or you get the background and they're in shadows, yeah. right? You can't even see the mountains. You can't see the mountains. You should be able to see the mountains, wow. right? So with the, with the uh, computational photography architecture that we have, called Chimera, we, it enables something called um, Always On HDR. So what we're able to do is turn on a um, turn on a live preview. First of all, with any camera phone today, when you, if you try and take an HDR picture, you have no idea what you're getting until you've taken the picture. It takes two pictures, fuses them together, then you look at it and you're like, okay, that wasn't it. And you delete it and you, and you try it again. You know exactly what you're going to get in advance. You can see the foreground and background are exposed properly. Um, but with, since it's always on, with it, uh, what that does for you is give you a, gives us a series of additional features. It enables us to shoot video at 30 frames per second. You can shoot, shoot boost Boost mode, I'm sorry, burst mode because there's no uh, post processing in, uh, required, and HDR flash. Um, but probably the most important thing is when you shoot HDR photos today with your camera phone, you have to maintain uh, real st uh, tight stability on your phone. You have to, you yeah. have to really, really, uh, um, uh, really stable. Really stable. Yeah, really stable. And both your hand has to be stable and the image and, and the people have to stop. Yeah. Right? We have full full motion capture, or not motion capture, but we don't have motion artifacts. Right? If I try, if I take this picture with my with my mm -hmm. standard camera phone, I'll actually show you what, what we get here. Um, rather than um, the number of fingers which I should have, because of the fact that it's taking two images. So let me just show you what we're taking with ours. There we go. My hand was moving. Oh yeah. You get the motion capture, you get background exposed properly, foreground exposed properly, as opposed to any other camera phone today that's shooting HDR, you get that, because it's taking multiple frames yeah. at a separate time. We take what's called one-shot HDR, we do it in one image and we, we manage it um, live through the, with the, with the, with the uh, through Tegra 4. So from a from a software perspective, one of the things that's interesting is this uh, all this feature is something that's just built on top of all all the Tegra processors. But there's an API, so the, this processing power is available to any application developer who has a camera or imaging app. They can wow. tap in and use the use the power of the, of the architecture. And what we've done is today with with standard um, standard uh, technology, what you do is the, the data comes in through the sensor and it goes into the ISP, uh, and then you go into memory and, and process it. And with ours, we fuse the power of the CPU, GPU, and ISP, and then use them for parallel processing. So we have you know 72 core GPU or up to 72, it's 60 cores on on Tegra 4i and 72 on Tegra 4, as well as the quad core processor and the power of the ISP, and use us all in parallel in order to enable some of these features. Awesome. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thank you.